This short video is on the rehabilitation of ankle sprains. We will aim to keep this video as short as possible, but without compromising on vital information. If you are watching this for the second time, then we suggest you skip the short theory section and go straight to the rehabilitation exercises. The exercises are grouped into the stretching or mobilizing type and strengthening type. Andrea, we're going to talk about sprains of the ankle. It's one of the most common things, especially with active people, but more or less everybody has done a little bit of a twist to their ankles. It just depends how much you twisted it and how much damage you have done. Ankle sprains involve obviously ligaments, but it can also involve the bones as well. You may cause um, slight uh, hairline fractures or complete breaks. So if the sprain is serious, if you get bruising around the edges here, if you cannot walk on it, if it's very sore, then go and get some imaging, x-rays, and so forth, just to find out if there is any more serious damage. If it's just a bit of overstrain of the ligament, then there's a lot of things that can be done. Um, the most common area to sprain, of course, is the outside aspect, because that's how you you'd, uh, twist your foot in most aspects. Occasionally, the medial ones get sprained as well, but usually uh, the outside ligament. Um, if it's very sore, we use the acronym of RISE, rest, ice, compression, and elevation. So we raise the foot up to take the pressure out of it. When the acute phase is gone and following advice from your specialist, you may want to resume some gentle mobilizing exercises of the foot, then more stretching exercises. Then we go on to the stabilizing and strengthening exercises, which are hugely important to prevent you from doing it again. Because once you sprain your ligament, the instability is there, the tendency is there to do it again, and that's not good news. So let's begin by showing some mobilizing exercises. Sure. Andrea, we're going to begin something very simple. Uh, that involves basically rotating your ankle in one direction, and then again in another. and then the other way as well. So the other direction. One of the, um, the texts talks about drawing the alphabet. <laughs> so imagine each letter to try and trace that. The, the reason for saying that is to get your foot to move in all sorts of different directions, but, but simple circles would suffice, I think. Now, in this position, I would also do some Dorsiflexion, as we call it, pointing the toes up towards you, holding on to that, good, and then plantar flexions, pointing your toes away. Nice and slow motion, take it to the end of range, pause, and then go the other direction. Hold on to the chair, put one leg forward and bend the knee slightly and keep that back knee, the back leg, completely straight. And swap over me, put the other leg backwards and the other leg forward. Flex the knee. As you're flexing the knee, keeping that heel firmly on the floor. So put it around your, your forefoot. Yeah. And in a slower controlled fashion, pull it towards you and then try and push your toes away as well. Obviously, if you're using too much force, it might be uncomfortable. So ease the, ease the band a bit so that you can manage it. So make sure you're actually doing a bit of movement of pointing your toes and then pulling them up towards your face, dropping them down and then pulling them up. So this kind of maneuver strengthens the ankle but also stretches it. It does both at the same time. Mm -hmm. And it's a safe exercise for the early stages, yeah? Another variation to that in that position is to put the, the calf muscle on top of the roller, like so. Yeah. And you create more tension. Yeah. The pressure of the roller creates a bit more tension onto the calf muscle, giving you added benefits as well, yeah. For the next exercise, you're gonna, again, put the band around your forefoot there, and with that hand, pull it obliquely in that direction. 
whilst at the same time you are rotating your foot in the other direction. That's it. So we're actually exercising the what we call the inverters and the everters, the pronation and the supination of the foot. So maintaining the tension, rolling it in and out. Another variation to that is to wrap this around the other foot and then pull it the other way. And then with that, you're going to rotate, that's it, the, the foot outwards, and then allow it to go inwards, keeping that tension on the foot. Roll it outwards and then inwards. The tendency for some people is to roll the whole thigh, but that's not what we want to achieve. Keeping that steady and just using the, the foot itself. Okay, another exercise now in terms of strengthening your ankle and, and generally your leg. It involves taking paces on your heels and then again on your toes, yeah? So we are, we are actually strengthening the dorsiflexors and then the plantar flexors and it gives us a bit of stability and control and coordination and so forth, yeah? Someone with a sprained ankle, it would be a little bit uncomfortable. So do as much as you can, but don't go beyond your limit and then repeat it again. If you have a condition of your toes and they're very uncomfortable, then you may want to wear a soft pair of trainers to do that. And if you want a bit of balance, you can open your arms. Yeah, I need it. <laughs> well, a lot of people do because it's not a natural thing to do. Another exercise is to, to improve the balance now, but there's a lot of other balance exercises we will cover in another video on standing on one leg and trying to stand on your toes, not all the way up, but, but do a few attempts on your toes. Yeah, that's good. You can repeat the same thing with a bit of a weight, choose more weight in your hands if you want, uh, or just without. It start with just your own body weight. Try open your arms makes it easier. And when you do that, can you just pause a bit towards the top? That's it, and then go down. Another useful thing to do is to um, work on the sole aspect, the under aspect of your foot, to to mobilize it and to soften that surface and to improve the blood flow as well. It may help with the ankle rehabilitation. Um, there are various things that you can buy. The most useful one is something like this, this kind of small roller or a, a medium-sized ball. These are soft ones, but with spikes. Yeah, they're not solid, yeah? Um, so do you want to try with that one? Can you just step on it and just roll it backwards and forwards? Put in modest pressure on that, yeah? Maybe you can demonstrate with the with ball as well, and maybe face the other direction as well, obliquely that way. Yeah, yeah, slower motion is better. Now finally, one more exercise is for strengthening the small muscles of your feet. When you're sitting on the chair in front of your TV, just play with a pencil on the floor and try and pinch it with your toes so you are actually strengthening your toes, that's it. Just whether you pick it up or not, it doesn't matter, but that, that action, you're actually using the this intrinsic muscle, the small muscles of the feet. An alternative to that is putting a towel on the floor, and again, for that you can do it standing or sitting. With your toes, try and gather the towel like this. Try and gather the towel. Yeah, so you're squeezing those muscles, getting them stronger, yeah? yeah? Okay, finally, one of the most important exercises to improve your balance and gait and, and um, coordination is to retrain what we call the proprioceptors of your joints so that uh, they are working at an optimum. There is various devices out there. This is a wobble board. There are various kinds of variations to that. If you don't have a wobble board, you can take a big cushion, a very firm cushion, and stand on the cushion and try to balance yourself first with your eyes open, yeah, and then with your eyes closed, then with one leg, and then with the other leg, yeah. So that's another variation using a wobble board and start with your arms open, 
and challenge yourself to various good positions. Again, that's another, vi another video for that. Mm -hmm. Eventually one leg, which is harder, and then with the eyes closed as well. Yeah. How is that? Additional advice for ankle sprains. If the area is inflamed, then remember the acronym RISE. Rest, eyes, compression, elevation. If the ankle region is swollen, elevate the leg and do calf pumping exercises. Consider the use of topical anti-inflammatories. Initially start with gentle mobilizing exercises, then gradually add strengthening and stability exercises. Remove any splint before exercising. Of course, check with your doctor and exercise within your pain limits. Caution, consult a physician if you have severe pain, if you have severe bruising, if your ankle appears deformed or badly swollen, if you're unable to walk, if you have numbness or loss of feeling, if you're not feeling well or have a temperature. Also consider the risk of deep vein thrombosis or DVT, that is a warm, swollen calf muscle, and in such case, seek urgent medical care.